and I was elected last year as First Minister on a record share of the vote, on a record turnout, on a very clear manifesto commitment to a referendum. But just so, on that practical point, and I know why you want to have it and you believe you've got the right to well, have that, but I on think, that practical point, mm -hmm. you can't stop the UK saying we're not taking I part. I don't think... Well, let's talk about where the arguments are then. Look where we are right now, out of the okay. European Union, pensions within hours but uh, first of Minister, falling the, but the down arguments and for and against. the currency plunging. These are the consequences that people are paying the price of right now. And but these for, all flow for Scotland but, from not being an independent but, and, country. And, and that's your view and you've made that very clear. From Brexit to the kind of decisions that we saw Liz Trust take just a couple of weeks ago, the and, impact and of that on people. Now that is because as a country, we don't have control over our and, own destiny. And that's, and that's your issue. view and you Take, make that no, very but clearly, me, but I'd like to talk about what you, can what you do. Can I complete one point on this right Briefly, now? If you can. We have massive renewable energy and yet we are sitting here with people of Scotland facing and, soaring energy And we are going to talk about energy a bit later. And so, possible so power cuts. And we're going to that talk about energy a, a bit later on. That is a good example of how Westminster and, is not working And we're going to talk about energy a bit later on. But whatever your, your, your view is on independence, the way to decide it is in a democratic, lawful referendum. So we're only talking but not, about the not scenario. Not a general election. Well, because but, a general but, election but wouldn't general, guarantee you okay, independence, so, would it? And I mean, per, perhaps it's the case that actually your this, options, well, well, perhaps it's the case that your options in a way are, are sort of running out of road. You know? But would you ever support issuing new oil and gas licences. I know it's up to Westminster at the moment, but if you're independent, so it'd be up said, to you. Would you approve them or not? Well, I'll come directly to that question in a minute, but let's just put this into context, first of all. The, the North Sea, which has served Scotland well, mm -hmm. is you know, a mature basin. It's a declining resource, uh, even before we consider the environmental uh, imperative here. Yeah, but, but we but also, is a, I'm, is I'm coming a... on to, but we also have the environmental imperative of having to move away from fossil fuels as quickly as possible. Well, people have and the Scotland is in the lucky. To pay their bills and keep the lights on. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but exactly. We're in the lucky position of mm -hmm. having this vast renewable potential. We've just given the go ahead to up to 28 gigawatts of offshore wind energy and, through and, the Scotland and first auction. For, forgive so me for pressing the... you, but time is short. This is a question of principle. Would you ever? Can you see circumstances where you would approve licences for new oil what and I've gas said exploration? Is, whether it's new licences or existing licences that are applying for development consent, there must be at every stage a robust climate compatibility But if there check. is, so you if, would, because Friends of the Earth have said there can be no climate compatible new oil and well, gas. So that, in a sense, is the point I'm coming on to. I am very sceptical as to whether new exploration can pass that test. But without seeing the, the climate compatibility compatibility assessments. I can't answer that question in the hypothetical, but I am sceptical in the context we are in right now uh, if, that, if, if any of but that would pass But that's interesting because clearly tests. then on principle, if they could, then you might, you wouldn't say well, no, we're, no, we're never. We're in a hypothetical situation. Okay. The problem right well, now is it, those climate compatibility yeah. checks are not being done uh -huh. uh, in the, the case of but, but you're clearly like saying no, no, never, but you're, just, you're not sure uh, if they're not be. doing. They're not uh, being done strongly enough in the case of okay. new licences. Okay. Now, income tax is devolved in Scotland mm. and there's a different tax system, with different tax rates. Um, but Liz Truss has just announced the 1p cut to the basic rate, 20p down to 90. Well, will you cut your tax rate to match that? And we will My weigh up. There's about a million we, people in Scotland will, who pay 20p. The, the need to ensure uh, that tax is fair and progressive. We already have a more progressive system, but we'll also weigh up the need to have proper investment in our public services. We will not cut tax for the wealthiest at the expense but, but of everybody else and our public services. But this services. is about there are about a million people in Scotland who pay that rate. And what I'm hearing this morning is you, 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 you well, aren't you ready to, to say well, whether but, or not they'll have, pay, let, the they'll have a cut in the same way the that English respect, Laura, are we have a well-established mm -hmm budget process in Scotland. Oh, no, that's fine. I'll just ask so you we will the question the and you don't want to answer it yet. And that's we fine. will take the decision based on a balanced consideration. This is a really difficult time for people. Mm -hmm. We are doing things to try to lift the incomes mm -hmm. of those at the lowest. We have a Scottish child that's payment why they might in Scotland. Quite like a tax cut. Oh, but, but we have a Scottish child payment in Scotland that nobody else in the UK has. £25 a week almost uh, soon for every child in low-income families. Uh, we don't pay for prescriptions in in Scotland, we have and free and, tuition and there's lots Scotland. of decisions you have to make in order to your budget. And we'll, so we'll, we'll, taxpayers we'll look in Scotland forward to... get good value for money, better value for money than anywhere well, else that's, in the that's, UK. That's your view. We'll look forward to seeing your budget.